Hello and welcome back. My name is Florian Schäfer and today we're going to talk about the state estimation in Panda Power. First, we're going to start with a little example and then afterwards we're going to get into coding as usual. So what is a state estimation for? Imagine that you're this guy here with the 90s haircut and you have your own power system and you're sitting in your control center and you want to know what is the state of my power system? So you want to know, for example, which voltage is at each bus in the system. The thing is that you don't know the real value. The only thing you know is the measurement you have at this bus or each bus, for example. So you could have, for example, voltage measurements at each bus, or you could have, for example, measurements of power flowing through lines or you could also have measurements of powers at a bus, so you know the current and the voltage. But what you don't know is the real value, you only know the measurement. Since the world is not perfect, the measurement is also not perfect, and what you have is a normally distributed error. So you know that the measurement, which is not perfect, has some kind of normal deviation, and this deviation uh, must be taken into account when calculating the real value of the system state. And this error, the total error, can be reduced by taking into account all measurements you have in the system and then performing a weighted least square state estimation. And this is what we're going to do now. We're going to calculate the estimated system state of this little power system here with the weighted least square algorithm. Now let's get into coding. What you see here is on the right side, the grid we want to perform a state estimation on. And on the bottom, you see the table with all the measurements we want to add. The code here has already, the, or is already the, the code to create the grid. So we have an empty network with three buses. To bus number one, there's an external grid connected and there are three lines connecting the buses. What we now need are the measurements, which are always created by the command create measurements for this network. We have to specify the measurement type. For bus number one and two, there's a voltage measurement for a bus, and then the value is given here in the table in per unit for the voltage, and the, the error as well for the measurement device at bus number one. So what we have is we add to the network a measurement of type voltage for a bus with this measurement value. So this is the, the value the device would give us and we know that the device has an error of 0 0.004 per unit. We do the same for bus number two, uh, which has the same error but a different measurement value. And then we are practically set up for the bus voltages. Okay, uh, now we want to add two P or a P and a Q measurement for bus number two, which is done in a similar way. And the only thing we have to change here is the measurement type. And of course, the value, which is entered in um, megawatt for the P measurement and MVAR for the Q measurement. So that is that. And notice here that the measurement error is given in KV or KVAR. Okay, so now we have all the bus measurements and now we want to add line measurements which are created in a similar manner. So we here we change the measurement type uh, or we set measurement types for the power as well, but the, the element now is a line and the values are given in the table as well. The error here is 8 MV and the element is line one for this case and the side. So the uh, line always is a side. So here for line one, the side is bus number one and bus number two and we wanted to add it to the first side, so the side where bus number one is. Okay, we do that four times. So for line one and two, 
there is um, a p measurement with different values just shortly let me enter this and also a q measurement for line one and two okay now we have all the measurements set up so we have four line measurements and four bus measurements and now we can perform the state estimation but first we have to import the state estimation tool of panda power if we have that we can run est estimate for this net then we can hit enter and in the background the estimation is performed now we don't see anything because we have to print the results for example and this is done in a similar manner as with the power flow but instead of calling net bus, we call net bus est which is the estimated result and here you see the table for the voltage the voltage angle or the voltage magnitude the angle the power in mv and the reactive power in mvar so those are the estimated value for each bus in the system the same you can do of course for the line measurements so you see here the estimated line flows for the lines so much about the state estimation in panda power if you want to find out more about it you can go to a website pandapower.org click on getting started and scroll down a little bit and there's a Jupyter notebook about the state estimation as well.